Hey everyone, welcome back to another tutorial about neural networks with one hidden layer step by step. So last time we initialized our model parameters, well we talked a little bit about architecture and so on and we saw that and I said that our one hidden layer model won't be such a big difference from first logistic regression to our series. So, in this tutorial, I will be implementing a forward propagation and backward propagation. So, uh, you should remember that I wrote uh, these formulas in my first tutorial of this series, and now I will implement them. Uh, so, with this, this is the cost function, and you'll see that this is not that difficult to do when I'll show you. So, I think there's nothing to wait a lot and we can begin with doing it and I'll copy a piece of code from uh, my logistic regression tutorial so you'll see what is the difference between these codes okay let's I'll zoom in and here is the formulas we'll implement and he here's our propagate function from our first tutorial. Now I'll just write it here so you'll see the difference. So I'll copy define it. So I'll define it as forward propagate propagation just like that and next what will be the inputs? So inputs will be x and parameters. So x will be the input data size of nx and m, so you'll see later in this tutorial series, and parameters will be just these parameters from our dictionary from initialization function. So here, what we do here, we at first uh, we take the parameters from I mean, we, we retrieve each parameter from the diction, dictionary parameters. So we'll, we do something like um, this. So w1, for example, ego parameters. And here will be our weight 1. So I'll just copy this here. Here will be our b1 and b1. And now I'll copy this again. And here will be b2, b2, w2, b2. So this way we retrieved our parameters from here for our, our initialization function. So in logistic regression we did similarly, but we gave it here our parameters because there were only two parameters, now is there four parameters. So it's easier to use dictionary. So right now, what we'll do, uh, so I will use similar functions, what we are using here. So as you can see, um, here will, is the dot function, exactly what is here. So except we here use now w1, weights of 1, and here we add uh, b1. And here now will be z1. And here is our uh, A1, and but now, as you can see, here is not a sigmoid, so sigmoid is the last one, so it will be our last function, and I'll add later what should be here. So here we use uh, A1 equal to numpy, and in numpy there is a simple function for tangent to get, so tan h. So that's simple. Now we have two of these functions implemented. Next, it simply goes uh, z2, we copy this, z2, and here goes our uh, the weights of 2, and except of x, here goes a1, and here goes b2, and here goes uh, sigmoid of z2. That's quite simple. And last, what we need to do is we we should put all the uh, values somewhere. So I will use same uh, 
system. So here will be our ca cache memory, and here will be our Z1, Z1. Here will be A1. Sorry, here A1. Here will be our Z2 and A2, Z2, A2. So here we made a forward propagation. This, this looks quite easy, at least it should be like that, because we didn't do anything difficult here. And last, we'll use a return, where we return A2, and so this is our forward propagation last value, and here we use our cache dictionary. That's it, we wrote our forward propagation function. So later you'll see how we use it, but we use it similarly as we used in logistic regression. So now we need to write a cost function. So here I won't use a backward propagation. Backward propagation will be in our next tutorial. And now I'll just write a define a compute cost function. Compute cost. And here will be a2, i, and parameters. So we continue with the cost function. And here probably you saw what is the shapes of our data. I wrote it and commented here that we could see somewhere. So as you can see, here is our pictures flattened. And here is number of examples. So similar way there is a i and i and x so here we calculate what is the number of examples so we simply use a shape of i and we use a first now let's see what is our function for computing a cost this is not that hard when you start building these functions and you know at least a minimum of NumPy. So here we'll compute a log props we'll call and next will be our cost and final will be return cost. So we'll write a function as to these parameters. So what is the beginning of this that for example there is a sum of some parameters so and two multiply parameters so we'll write a numpy multiply here will be one multiplication with and sum with another multiplication and now we just write what is the first multiplication so first mul multiplication is numpy dot log of a2 and i i mean not i but multiplied by i just like that and that's it and another function also has a numpy log so i'll just copy this one to this and here is a uh, 1 minus a2 so i write 1 minus a2 and it is multiplied by well I'll, i can write it in this side is 1 minus minus i and both of them multiplied so this multiplied by this that's it i think we wrote everything what is inside of here so next we will uh, write a cost assumption so here is a sum uh, sign so we just write a numpy sum of something so here will be our log props and next there is a minus one divided by m and multiplied by whole sum of what is here so here we simply write a minus 1 as it was here divided by m and all this multiplied by this this is number of examples m so that's it i think this is our 
full forward propagation and computed cost functions, which we'll use later. And up to this point, we have initialized our model parameters, implemented forward propagation, and computed a cost. So loss, cost, whatever it means, uh, whatever you call it. So few more functions left to write, which we'll continue to do in next tutorial. And then you'll see that when we uh, join everything into one model, this is, this is quite simple to understand how our one hidden layer neural network works. So that's it. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe my channel, like this video, and see you in the next tutorial.